hi guys welcome back to my other video today I am showing showing you how to preserve your zucchini um, if you have extra or or too much and then um, you don't want it to go bad you can preserve it to use it later on in the you know in the long run so wash it real good get all of the, uh, the dirt and the unwanted tips out um, I'm gonna wash all of my zucchini first and then I'll show you my next step okay all right, this is my last one. So now all of them are nice and clean. What I will do next is I will go ahead and slice them into thin pieces. And this is how I like to do it. I like to cut it in half like that evenly and then just, just slicing about that thick. So I have my dehydrator rack here already. That way I don't have to dirty too much plates at the same time. So I'm gonna, when I'm done slicing, I just scoop it up and just spread them on top of my dehydrator rack. And just like that. And make sure that they don't overlap on each other. Cause once they're overlapping, it's harder for, for it to get dry. All right, it looks good to me. So I will go ahead and get my other rack and put on top of it. Like that. And then do the same process. I used, all, end up using all of my seven trays. They are full. Um, as you could tell, I hardly put any dent on my uh, harvest. Uh, zucchini yet, but don't worry about it. These things are not gonna go bad. I'm gonna go ahead and finish slicing it into pieces and then I'll, uh, uh, I'll finish dehydrating them later on in my uh, oven using my oven to dehydrate these. But as for now, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and start this. Oops, get my lid on. This batch is ready to go. it in and then it's fruits and vegetables it's under 135 and then I'm just gonna let this run in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and finish slicing the rest of my uh, zucchini mmm smell like it's done this time it smells sweet let me unplug it yeah looks good Look like it's nice and uh, cook. See? Mmm. You guys, you should try eating this when it's dehydrated. It is super yummy. Reminded me of um, eating banana chips, to be honest with you. It has that natural sweet to it, and it's just perfect crunchy in the mouth you know it tastes a lot like banana chips at least i think it, it does okay let's finish up and uh, put it in the uh, jar it's waiting right there okay you want to try it babe mm -hmm. you want to try it it tastes like a banana chip right right that's what i thought so as well Tastes like banana chip. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. Crunchy. You yeah, have more if you want to. Before mommy we put it away. Okay, so I have my go-to funnel here. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in to this caution paper so I don't make a mess all over. Yeah, it just falls right off. It's so addicting, huh? Mmm. Good. And this one is done as well. Oops. Falls right off. Okay. So 
now gather it up. So I have uh, a couple more trays here that I added on because I harv I went out and harvested some more and they're almost done to be honest with you. Mmm, it's so good. Try it, babe. Give me another one. Tastes a lot like... Mm, so fun to eat. They're not quite done yet. See how it's still soft and bendable? Not quite done yet. So this thing... Um, I'm gonna put it a couple more hours. Mm. Mm. Because it's so light, I'm gonna go ahead. It's shrunk. I'm gonna go ahead and combine it with this one so I can slice more. Um, slice more zucchini and then um, dehydrate more that way. See how it's because it's shrinking. I have more space on my tray now. I hope you want to try this one. It's good. Crunchy. It tastes like chip. The last rack. Nice and crispy. do next is gather it up and put it in my funnel like that okay this is the last of it Hydrate it for 12 hours and this is how I preserve my zucchini and then I just want to show you um, when I'm ready to use it to use them all you need to do is put it in water and soak it for you know a few minutes and then it will automatically rehydrate itself to look like that see and then you could just cook it and put it in your you know stir-fried or your spaghetti or whatever See, and it's it's edible so so by dehydrating these I can preserve my my zucchini for a very long time um, okay and make sure that I clean my rim of my jar take my lid same technique my wide mouth uh, food sealer jar sealer I mean my a wide mouth food saver jar sealer lid and then my brake bleeder stick it in and I'm gonna pump all right so this is it reach 15 and I can't pump any more air out pull it out open it up Airtight. Got all the air out. Put my case on. All right, guys. So here are all my zucchini. I have like about ten zucchini squeezed in here, uh, dehydrated in my dehydrator, and save me trips to go to the store, grocery store. This zucchinis and uh, yellow squash is from my backyard, homegrown, organic. Um, if I, whenever I'm ready to use it, I'm just gonna pop it open. But as for now, it stays and uh, in my pantry for my food storage this coming winter. Um, also, I wanted, uh, like I said, I mentioned earlier, when it's ready to be used, all I have to do is soak it up in water and then um, cook it that way. So that's it for now. So like I said, um, this is my food storage for uh, winter season this coming. Uh, winter that is coming up very fast and i am preserving all of my stuff that i'm growing in my backyard so and um like i said it's 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 a fun journey 
I love gardening, I love what I'm making right now. It's a nice adventure for, for my family. We're learning so much. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.